G'day folks, welcome to an ICC Queensland Daily Weather Up today, the 26th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by a major sponsor, townsvillesheds.com. Check them out if you're interested in a shed safe accredited shed. Before we get started, just a reminder, anything we speak about today, we go into a great more depth and detail. Plus, we talk about other states of Northern Australia as well, Queen, uh, Queensland, NT and Northern WA, uh, with all the monsoon activity going on there. So check that out if you'd like to support our work at join.ozcyclonechasers.com. Right across the north this morning, we've got lots of showers and storms coming in on the monsoon flow in the northern parts of Cape York Peninsula. You can see that uh, that flow is just being turned a little bit more from the northeast as we get into the southeastern Gulf. So a nice little rain maximum down there. We've also seen substantial rainfall to the north of Cairns up in the Daintree coastline. Falls up to 300 millimetres has fallen, have fallen uh, in the last 24 hours. So substantial rain. Why is that rain happening? Well, a couple of reasons. We've got big tall mountain ranges and southeasterly winds. They're, they're being lifted by the big tall mountain ranges but more importantly we have a monsoon trough and a monsoon trough that's sort of sticking right in there and the idea is these northwesterlies turn northeasterly and there's a little bit of enhanced turning because there's a very weak circulation located off the Cape Melville coastline as well and so that's just being that's creating this squeezing of the southeasterlies and these turning northeasterlies into that section of coastline so that's why we've got all that big rain outside of that we've got a couple of isolated showers around the east coastal regions of Queensland, nothing too much in those. Maybe a little bit more enhanced around the Mackay with Sundays area. In the Coral Sea, we've got a big low developing to the north of Fiji. That's going to affect Vanuatu over the next few days. It is pushing west, but it's not going to do a Yasi. Don't worry about it. It's not going to come all the way west. It's going to do these ones and then duck down into the uh, into the abyss. And it's going to take the Coral Sea low pressure systems with it. So this system is going to be quite a large system, and it's going to exert a sphere of influence on these systems out west, and they're all going to go in that direction. All right, taking a look at winds, we can see these little circulations up here in the Northern Coral Sea associated with the monsoon trough. And you can see a little bit of a circulation or just an enhanced area of rotation just in there as well, which is just creating that squeeze in the Southeast Gulf country. Now, the idea is over the next 24 hours, those lows are gonna push away to the east. They're gonna solidify, central, centralize around one central circulation and that entire mess is gonna push away. Now, as that pushes away, we're gonna be left with southeasterly winds on the coastline, gradually easing as that low starts to push further away to the east through the week, uh, and we're going to see stabilising and, be, and thing, uh, conditions becoming mostly fine across the east coast. But there's still plenty of rain to be had today. You can see Sunday's accumulated rainfall across northeast Queensland. Still substantial rain to be had across the far northern parts of the state in that northeast coastal region. Uh, there's also the potential for isolated showers around the Mackay with Sunday's area. Maybe a couple of isolated showers on the eastern uh, ranges and east coast in the afternoon across northeast Queensland. A couple of isolated showers to around par other parts of the east and seaboard. You can see our little squeezy squeeze zone across the Gulf of Carpentaria creating increased rainfall there and uh, through the Gulf country as well. Even uh, areas potentially just to the north of Mount Isa seeing some showers and thunderstorms as well uh, albeit a little bit more isolated the further south we go. And widespread showers and storms expected across the Cape York Peninsula region. Today as we go into tomorrow you can see same sort of thing. Lots of showers and storms up in the Cape. Notice that tomorrow we're just seeing a slight decrease in rainfall but there is still some potential for decent rainfall particularly the first half of the day and maybe one last burst right at the end of the day before it finds up across this region on Tuesday but you can see lots of showers and storms across the Gulf and uh, the Cape tomorrow as well in the monsoon flow and the turning of that monsoon flow. Bureau of Meteorology have a number of flood warnings out for northern Queensland. You can see Daintree, Mossman River, Mulgrave, Russell Rivers. Uh, initial flood warning for the Tully River as well. So a lot of heavy rainfall developing in that area over the last 24 to 48 hours has created some flood threats. So make sure you check those out at bomb.gov.au. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy that rain. Hopefully not too much more over your neck of the woods out there in northeast Queensland. But it is the wet season, so enjoy it nonetheless.